Well, it is July 18th, 2013, here at the Pleasant Street Center. We're in the middle of a heat wave right now. It's been 90 degrees for four days, but inside the Pleasant Street Center, a lot of people have gathered, mostly seniors. Again, it's 90 degrees, 95 degrees, in the middle of a seven day heat wave, the heat wave of 2013, but it's nice and cool inside. A lot of people drove here today. Some people took the, uh, the van we have here at the Senior Center, at the Pleasant Street Center. Let's go in and let's find out what's going on. Well, it looks like it's the Lobster Roll Dinner. Sold out, just one of the many events here at the Senior Center. Today we're also going to be dedicating a room to Sally Hoyt, who's been very instrumental in many of the events here at the Pleasant Street Center. Good evening, my name is Jane Burns and I'm the Elder Services Administrator for the Town of Reading. Welcome to the Pleasant Street Center. On a hot July night, we are holding our second annual Lobster Roll Dinner and tonight is extra special because we're also dedicating our great room to Sally Hoyt, a longtime leader of citizens and particularly seniors within the town of Reading. This is one of the typical events that we hold here at the Pleasant Street Center. We usually have a dinner event four times a year. In, during the day, we host movies, bingo, games, crafts, painting. During the summer months, with the heat wave, we've added an extra movie day on Wednesday afternoons, where you'll have free refreshments and a movie, and you can drop in, cool off, and enjoy a refreshing treat. For more information, you can contact our receptionist at 781-942-6794. Enjoy the evening. And Jane looks great in an apron. Terry Valley, caseworker for the town of Reading. Okay. <laughs> Erica Dean, board member of the Council on Aging. I'm Diane Luther. I'm the nurse advocate for the town of Reading, Mother Services. Boy, is she photogenic. For those of you I haven't had the opportunity to meet, my name is Jane Burns and I'm the Elder Services Administrator for the Town of Reading. And it's my pleasure to welcome you all here that haven't had the opportunity to meet. My name is Jane Burns and I'm the Elder Services Administrator for the Town of Reading. And it's my pleasure to welcome you all here this evening for two <coughs> wonderful events. First of all, for our Lobster Roll Dinner, our second annual Lobster Roll Dinner sponsored by the Council on Aging. And tonight we have a very extra special event as we dedicate this wonderful room to one of Reading's finest restaurants. Restaurants. Massachusetts. She has done so many things that we could be here all night 
uh, going through her resume and talking about the wonderful things that she has done. And as I was looking through her past career, I, I just a few highlights for, for those of you that may be new to town or not familiar, but Sally served as a member of the Board of Selectmen for 12 years. She was the conservation commissioner for 18 years. I have my cheat sheets here. Uh, she was, uh, has, is on the Council of Aging pre presently and served, served on the Council of Aging for 10 years now. She, is the, she was the Senate president of the Silver Hair Legislature for 15 years. The Mass State president of the Mass Business and Professional Women and she has been a constable for the town of Reading since 1972. Wow. That is 41 years. That's a lot of service to the town. And I will tell you, that doesn't even touch the things that Sally has done within the town of Reading. That's a, a brief highlight of the wonderful things she's done. I had the opportunity to meet Sally a year and a half ago when I started working uh, for the town of Reading. And Sally said to me, um, I want, I, we need the shingles vaccine in town. We need the shingles vaccine in town. And I'm happy to say in the last two months, we've vaccinated several Reading residents <laughs> with the shingles vaccine because of her dedication to making sure. And she doesn't give up. She never gave up. We faced many obstacles, but she kept driving and moving that program forward. We're all sitting here at this wonderful lobster roll dinner tonight because of Sally, and that's why it was so appropriate to tie these two events together. A year and a half ago, she said, we need to bring a summer event to the seniors in Reading. We need to have something for seniors to come out. So this is our summer event for seniors in Reading. Again, an inspired dinner thanks to Sally's dedication to the seniors of Reading. So it's an honor to be here and to lead this dedication and um, this tribute that will always be here for Sally. So to start off, we were hoping and we were optimistic that we would have uh, Representative Brad Jones and Senator Catherine Clark here with us this evening. Unfortunately, they both have been caught up in session. As you know, Representative Jones doesn't miss a vote. And as much as he loves Sally, he still has to be there to do his job. So they have sent a citation. So I'd like to ask Steve Osten, the chairman of the board of the Council of Aging, to come up and present Sally with the citation. Everybody having fun? Yes. yes. Well, before I begin the citation, I would like to thank Jane Burns and Sharon Thomas, uh, the Council on Aging Volunteers, and the rest of the staff for putting this all together in a short time with wonderful results. So let's put our hands together. For the and this citation to Sally is from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the House of Representatives. Being it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Sally Foyt in recognition of your many years of service to the community of Reading and the Commonwealth. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for future good fortune and continued success in all endeavors given the 16th day of July 2013 at the State House, Boston, <coughs> Massachusetts, and is signed by Robert A. DeLeo, Speaker of the House, and offered by State Representatives James Dwyer and Brad Jones. Sally, congratulations. <laughs> Next, I would like to invite James Bonazzoli, Chairman of the Board of Selectmen, 
who will present the plaque that will hang here at the Senior Center and make this room further known as the Hoyt Great Room. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, everybody. It's truly an honor and pleasure for me to be here. As I was telling Sally, when I uh, went for Selectman, this is nine years ago, I'm sitting in her living room, getting some advice, what should I be doing, what do I need to do? And she said, all you need to do is live and work with your heart, do the best thing for the residents of Reading, and you'll do fine. That's how Sally has certainly lived her life here in Reading. As Jane said, she has done so much for our community. To name just one room is an injustice. We could certainly name so many rooms at Town Hall for you. So I want to thank Sally on behalf of the Board of Selectmen, on behalf of the resi residents of Reading, of all her dedication, her work, and love for this community. So with that, I'd like to unveil this plaque, which we may have broken a few laws, but we had to vote on this secretly, and nobody knew what we were voting on. So Sally, it's a truly a pleasure and honor to give you this plaque, name this room, the Sally Point Great Room, in the Reading Pleasant Street Center. Couple of pictures, Sally. Come on, face this way. All right. There you go. Could you give her the microphone? Yeah, I'm going to need the microphone. Um, first of all, if I don't stand right, it's because I had two broken hips. And um, I wasn't going to tell you that. But, um, that's Speak right into the mic, you. Sally, so we can hear you. But anyway, I am enormously honored to have this dedication tonight. I've been in this room so many, many times, it never occurred to me that one day, I'd be expect, accepting an honor in my name, but it's nice to know that that people um, do remember you. In fact, uh, I was going to be honored by one of the young organizations, and I said to them, do you think you remember me? <laughs> but anyway, I do have to thank the board <coughs> selectmen, Peter Heckenbacker, because I know he had a hand in it, and also our new account manager, Bob, you're the church, and of course, the Council on Aging, and the other ones who worked in the kitchen tonight and served us. I would have been in there tonight too, if they didn't want me to sit down and take my hand. <laughs> but it would be a pleasure to serve you any time. I'll tell you a little bit about how I became interested in serving the seniors, not only in Reading, but across the Commonwealth. But I, um, I, became, I became 65 25 years ago. So that's a little bit of a while. So my sister-in-law here, uh, Ruth Fenley, she was a point. She's Brendan's sister. She's 90 years old and we share the same birthday, the same date, the same year. <laughs> so I'm happy to say that we had a 90th birthday Last uh, August, August 27th, we were both 90. Wonderful. Wow. Wow. So um, I do want to acknowledge my family before I say too much. My husband, Brendan, my sister-in-law, got Lloyd, and Gloria House, my, my niece, um, yeah. Carol, <laughs> and my niece, uh, Patty, my dear friend, Virginia Williams and her husband over here, David, my my sister in law Pat Hoy, my brother in law um Bay Hoy, but most people know him as Benny, but it's Bay to us. And all of you and thank you all for being here. 
But I want to tell you a little bit about how I became interested in serving the seniors. But I was asked to serve on the state level by the um, chairman of the Council on Aging, Ian Redding, oh, a number of years ago, I guess 15 years ago. And at that time, um, uh, we served in Boston, and we, we had to uh, really study the needs of, of the elderly. And we did this all over Massachusetts, and we found that there was a great need to help our seniors. And thinking about how we work, and how we work very, very well with our legislators, and that is the reason that we were successful in passing bills. And thinking about how we work, and how we work very, very well with our legislators, and that is the reason that we were successful in passing bills, because there was a need, and because today, as we all know, our generation is, is living longer and healthier. So the bills that we passed not only helped the, the people um, uh, 15 years ago, and, and of course up to today, but they're going to help the seniors of many generations to come. So it was really a labor of love, and I have to say that I'm going to continue serving the seniors of Reading and the Commonwealth for many more years to come. Right. So thank you. All. you to stay and cool off a little bit and enjoy some uh, treats. Thank you all very much. Hello, I'm James Monzoli, Chairman of the Board of Selectmen. I want to thank Sally Hort for all her dedication to our community and congratulating her on having the great room named in her honor. We have a lot of activities down here at the Pleasant Street Center. I hope to see you all here sometime soon. Air conditioning's working pretty well. And it is a full house. There's Sharon. And the ladies slaving away here. Say hello, Jane. It's Sally's big night. Thank you for coming and videotaping. And another Carol, one of the other volunteers. Say hello, Carol. Hello, Carol. Hello. How's the air conditioning working? 95 degrees out? All right. And there's Sally. How are you doing, Sally? And Sharon. Hi, I'm Steve Austin, and uh, I'm the chair of the Reading Council on Aging. Uh, this lobster dinner we're seeing here is one of the many events that we uh, have here at the Senior Center. Uh, and it's especially a great idea to be in air conditioning during the summer 
So uh, we're really very happy we have uh, a sold out crowd here and everyone really looks like they're enjoying themselves. Uh, we plan to have many other events during the year and uh, the Senior Center is really jamming these days. Come on down yourself. How much does an event like this cost to go to? Uh, most of our events are free or just have a very nominal charge. Uh, we have some sources of revenue that we can use. Uh, the town supplies some. We have some trust funds that we can tap. And uh, for the most part, it costs the seniors nothing at all. Now, is there any age limit here? You have to be really young or really old or something to be here? Can you? What are the well, rules? Well, we sort of are looking at uh, 60 as uh, as a rough guideline for uh, who's a senior and who's not. Uh, but we're not terribly sticky on that. So it's uh, you know 60 to 90. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. You're very welcome. We've been talking about the, the royal baby and what they're going to name her. What do you think? Uh, Abigail. Abigail is a good guess. Sarah. Sarah is a good guess. William. William. He thinks it's going to be a boy. What do you think? I think you're more a Charlotte kind of person. <laughs> All right, it's next week. It's the event of the summer. All right, we've been talking about the, the, the Queen's baby, the royal baby, and what they're going to call her. Any thoughts? It's next week. The new baby. It could be a boy. Everybody thinks it's going to be a girl. Any guesses? What do you think? You think it's going to be a girl? Some people think Elizabeth. Ladies, we've been talking about the, the royal baby and what they're going to call her. Any guesses on the name next week? Victoria. Victoria. Anybody else for guesses on the name of the, the royal baby? Elizabeth. Ooh, we got an Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Next week? The name of the royal baby. Anybody? Well, we don't know if it's going to be a girl. Most people are thinking it's going to be a girl. You know, so we've had names like Charlotte and Abigail. All right, anybody? Clementine. What? Remember what Frank Zappra, you know, it was Moon Unit. Remember the, or, and uh, Kim Kardashian named her baby North. I don't think they're going to name it North. We're taking guesses on the Queen's baby, the royal baby, and what they're going to call her. Any, any guesses? Paul. Paul. Oh, there he is. There he is. I called you yesterday. Victoria Diana. Ooh, very good. The Queen, the royal baby, any guesses for what they're going to call her or him? Sally, what do you think? We're talking about the the royal baby next week and what they're going to call it. They think it's going to be a girl. What do you think the name will be? The royal baby. Elizabeth is a good guess. Gentlemen, what if it's a boy? What do you think? I know it's not going to be Chelsea.